Yo, what's going on guys welcome back to the channel hope we're having a great day today and we're all doing well so it seems like overnight some images of next season year six season three's um operator we actually don't know if they're on attack or defense their loadout hints at attack but there's been many other leaks and their gadget sort of hinting at defense so some very interesting stuff which we'll get into but um there has been a leaked image of them overnight now the direct source of this is not really confirmed anywhere many people are saying it was some sort of like mod for ubisoft or someone who has some form of access to what is being made and um, i don't know how true that information is so take that with a grain of salt but the original place as far as i can track it to seems to be on reddit by reddit user thyroid melanin and now we have some information of what they look like some of their loadout their gadget and some lore behind them as it currently stands this operator's name it seems to be osa her loadout is a pdw9 which is uh, the 556 xi which is thermite ar and the secondary weapon is the pmm and their gadget seems to be a deployable shield which is transparent so you can see through it fully with the name talon 8 and it can also be placed on windows so other leaks recently as well have kind of hinted that, that the operator for this season was going to be a defender and then the final operator for year six was going to be an attacker meaning that year six was going to go attacker defender defender attacker uh, obviously it usually goes attacker defender attacker defender or defender attacker defender attacker but we can also remember all the way back in operation chimera it went attacker attacker then the next season was defender defender then it went back to attack defense attack defense that's when we were getting two operators per season now we're only getting one operator per season Season, and they could very much well you know change up the pattern again but personally i really don't believe this i believe that she will be an attacker with that loadout with jackals pdw with thermite ar and the pmm and another thing that kind of backs up my point here is you actually look at the background behind her of the operator selection screen that is actually the side attacker stand on with the background like that the attacker side has some targets on the wall which you can shoot as you can see in the background there and then on the defender side it's just a blank sort of blue tinted colored wall so the background behind osa right now seems to be the attacker side and i am definitely leaning that she is going to be an attacker and i also think another deployable shield operator on defense literally makes zero sense considering the controversy around goyo to the point where he's actually being reworked to remove the deployable shield from his actual gadget so i can't see this being a defender deployable shield i definitely think this works more on attack and makes more sense if you can push an objective or go in a window and put this deployable shield on it but you're still transparent defenders will still be able to see you on it but you'll also be able to play around it i think that sounds honestly like such an interesting gadget and i'm actually really excited to see how that plays out now before we go on to talk about their lore, let's talk about some stuff we already do know from the Year 6 official roadmap. This operator of course is from Croatia as you can also see from the flag on her chest and obviously we already know this from the Year 6 roadmap and the map for this season is actually not just going to be just a rework for another map, it's going to be multiple changes for multiple maps already existing in the game. So I think it's going to be very minimal reworks for maps to the point where it doesn't deserve its own season full of it but they can you know tweak a lot of them and make them better for example i'm gonna assume that coastline is going to be in these changes if you guys remembered back in stadium 2.0 when that was an event earlier this year it was a mixture of border and coastline but a lot of aspects of border and coastline were tweaked a bit then the next season those changed aspects of border in stadium were actually added to the border rework so it only makes sense that this is a season where those changed aspects of uh, coastline are going to be added to that as well of course we're finishing the year off with a outback rework and the fact also that we're uh, getting to a stage where they're comfortable not just reworking one whole map and doing a lot of tweaks to other little maps in a season makes me very ambitious for year seven because if we're at a stage now where they're not you know just focusing on one map and they feel like okay maybe it's okay we can kind of just do a bunch of small changes to a lot of maps at once which aren't that like you know don't need a whole season just for one map that makes me very ambitious for year seven because then surely that means maybe we're going to get be getting some new maps because if you are at the stage now where they're kind of toning it down on you know the map reworks because clearly um if they're at a stage where they don't have to just focus on one map and they're comfortable focusing on small changes for a lot of maps then 
are we actually out of the rework era? Has Ubisoft reworked enough maps where they're actually comfortable adding new ones now? Sounds very interesting. Now I want to get into the lore of Osa now. There's a little bit of text presented to us saying she found herself isolated due to her unorthodox approach and others attitudes towards her transition so she focused on her and then the rest is cut off. I'm going to assume it's going to say herself. And what the original poster of this and kind of what the description implies as well that she is actually transgender. And as well as this, she is part of Nighthaven. Now, I know so many people are going to go on Twitter now and in the comment section and, you know, oh, rather than, you know, adding trans people, why do you not fix a game? You're going to you're gonna see that all over Twitter. And I just want to, you know, address some stuff right now. This is purely lore-based. It has no gameplay implications, just the same way how Flores being gay had no gameplay implications or Thatcher being straight had any gameplay implications. No one is pushing an agenda against you. This is purely story-based and this operator's own unique identity, just like how all other 60 operators have their own backstory and identity as well. This is purely just to add more diverse and representation in this game and the community and there's a completely nothing wrong with that. Rainbow is such a rich and diverse game with all these different countries. It's exciting to have all these different countries united in one game and represented and nothing wrong with doing that with people's sexualities in the community as well. The same way an operator's nationality has no effect on you and causes you no harm is the same case as this. This is purely lore based. It's purely just to add more diversity to the community. The same way adding more countries adds more diversity as well and there's nothing wrong with this. So I'm just gonna say this now, I don't want any of your awful backwards opinions in the comments. Trans people are people and they should be given the same amount of respect as you give anyone else. I just wanted to say that because I know Twitter gremlins are gonna be crying all over this and everything which is just embarrassing. But I am excited for this. I'm excited to see some of the map changes. I'm interested to see this loadout as well. I definitely think this is going to be uh, an attacker. Um, her gadget does sound very cool, like a shield that you can place on windows on attack. That does sound very interesting and seems like it will, you know, kind of affect the meta quite a lot. And I'm not talking in a bad way. That seems very interesting. It seems to spice things up a bit. And we're also getting an operator from Croatia, which we have never had before. So another new country added to the roster which is very exciting. So yeah, that is all there is for this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I shall catch you all later. Peace.